Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my first ever triathlon. How was it? How did I do? Did I enjoy it? Did it suck? What would I do differently? What would I do the same? Why would you do a triathlon to begin with? I'm gonna be covering all of it, ladies and gentlemen, so stay tuned. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Ben. Cool, right? Uh, I made a couple videos uh, leading up to this triathlon. I think like literally two videos, maybe only one video. The first video was like back in January when I first kind of decided that I wanted to do a triathlon. I'd been interested in triathlon. I had running experience and I had cycling experience, but I never swam. So that always kind of kept me away from a triathlon. But this past fall, I finally kind of like decided, all right, all I gotta do is not drown and then I can do the triathlon. You know what I mean? I have two of the three sports. As I said, I had experience with running. I did cross country and track in high school. I was not a phenomenal runner, but I enjoyed it. A little bit after that, I got into cycling and I realized, oh, this is much more fun than running because I can go faster. I can go longer. I can actually get to a destination. So when I, when I started to get into cycling, I stopped running so much. Eventually, probably, after the pandemic started to hit like 2020 i kind of stopped doing everything there's a combination of you know depression there's so much going on in my head mainly <laughs> i was really not in a healthy spot last year i hit a bit of a turning point and realized i need to start making changes started running again i started riding my bike again and i realized this is what's been missing Previously, I didn't understand why I was feeling so bad. So when I rediscovered these things, that's when I committed to doing a triathlon. The triathlon that I did, the Poconos triathlon, pretty much right next to my house. I've been seeing it happen for the last couple of years. And each time I was kind of like, oh, I could do that. I could do that. But I never did. So I finally made the commitment. So I started training. Um, I started to rack up some mileage and slowly start to build a base. All the while I was telling myself, I'm gonna start training swimming. I'll do it, I'll swim eventually. Which that was my very first mistake in training for this triathlon, was the lack of attention to the swim. I kid you not, I swim three times before the triathlon. You can probably tell where this is going in terms of how I did in my triathlon. <laughs> All right, so getting into the actual triathlon, uh, what happened on race day, which was June 11th, 2023, exactly a month ago from when I'm filming this video. So I've had time to reflect and kind of, you know, been able to gauge pretty accurately of what I did wrong. It was a sprint triathlon. Um, apparently it was also the Pennsylvania State Championship. I didn't know that until I signed up, at which point I realized I'm probably going to be be demolished by these people. But yeah, it was a sprint. I didn't want to do an Olympic distance because, like I said, I hated the idea of swimming any longer than I needed to. So the swim was up 750 meters. The bike was 10 and a half miles. And uh, the run was a 5K. Overall, I finished 21st out of... How many people? I didn't even know. There's 100 something. 117, maybe? 115. So not bad. In my mind, I was going to finish top 10. That obviously did not happen. But yeah, 21st overall in my age group, I finished second, which is not really true because there were two people that finished in the top overall three that were in my age group. So technically they were in the overall standings and not in the age group standings, which means that technically I finished fourth in my age group, not second. <laughs> The swim, 21 minutes, 45 seconds, with a pace of 254 per 100 yards, I think that is. I don't know. Like I said, I only swam a couple of times before the triathlon itself. I really underestimated how much time it was going to take to build and develop a running a swimming form because even when I was new to running and biking there wasn't a lot of form involved especially with the bike it's just how long can you push hard on the pedals you know what I mean but with swimming I didn't realize how much form there was involved because I was swimming with my head above the water because I had never swam 
you know, taking breaths out of the side. I, I didn't know how to do that. So I was just kind of like dragging the water along with me, spending way too much energy. But still in my head, I was thinking, I'm gonna at least do this in 15 minutes, which was definitely naive to believe that I could just go out and do that. So the swim sucked. I was basically just trying to avoid drowning so I can get to the bike. But that being said, as soon as I got out of the water, which was in 76th place, I know, right? Pretty quick. <laughs> On the bike, I averaged just under 20 miles per hour for the 10 and a half miles, which put me at 31 minutes, 47 seconds, which was the 12th fastest bike. The fastest bike of the day was 29.32, so I was two minutes and change behind that. Pretty solid. I was one of the only people that didn't have a proper triathlon bike. I just had my road bike. I also didn't have a triathlon suit. I was wearing my swim shorts and nothing else besides a helmet. Definitely looked like a bit of a goofball out there. That's another mistake is I didn't invest in a triathlon suit. I didn't even invest in a, uh, a wetsuit until like the day before the triathlon. I bought a wetsuit and a swim cap and goggles like just in time. So definitely should have been more prepared in terms of the gear. There's a much bigger barrier of entry for something like triathlon than there is for running. Cause running it's like literally throw a pair of shoes on and go run. Biking it's a little bit more, you know, get a bike. Okay, now hop on the bike and bike. Triathlon, there's just a lot involved. So that that's kind of one of the unfortunate things. I ended up spending a decent amount of money and I don't have a lot of money. So anyways, bike was solid. I felt pretty good. Um, through all of this, I didn't have a watch on me. So I had no idea how fast I was going, which is probably a good thing because I would have been extremely discouraged if I got out of the water and saw that I was swimming for 22 minutes. But the bike felt pretty solid. I jumped off the bike and I started running. My legs were destroyed. <laughs> Going into the race, I was expecting to run sub 20 minutes for the 5K. That's about what I was capable of. About a month prior to the triathlon, I ran my fastest 5K ever, which was like 18, 20 something. So I thought, all right, well, I'll probably at least be able to go sub 20 during this triathlon. I ended up running 22.15, which is an average pace of 7.11. So yeah, I was pretty disappointed once I found out that I ran over 22 minutes. I totally underestimated how wrecked my legs were going to be. How many times am I going to say underestimated? Maybe that's the key word of this whole experience. Underestimated. Don't underestimate the triathlon. Even if it's a sprint, even if you put months of training into it, it will still be hard. That's the point. It's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard hard anyways um so yeah total time one hour 19 minutes now that we have all the results what would i do differently i would swim more obviously three times isn't enough especially when you have absolutely no swimming experience it's one third of the sport of triathlon you should swim second thing i would do differently is i would do some more intense brick sessions a hard bike ride into a hard run i did a couple of sessions where it was like a hard bike into an easy run or an easy bike into a hard run. I never really did hard bike, hard run back to back. And I definitely felt that on race day. So if I, if I were to do this again, which I think I will, I got to train more intense brick sessions. That way my legs are prepared to feel absolutely destroyed by the time the run comes around. Third thing I would do differently, um, get more sleep before the race. The race went off at eight o'clock, so which means I probably ended up waking up at like 6.30. I'm not used to waking up at 6.30. Um, I ended up going to bed at like one or two o'clock in the morning. I got like five hours of sleep. It was not good. Yeah. I'll do another one. I don't know when. I don't know which. I'll do another one there. Okay, you should do one too. <sighs> All right, anyways, that's about it. Um, I made like two videos talking about me training for the triathlon and I never gave an update. God, that thing is fucking loud. <laughs>
What is that? Alright. Maybe that's my sign to shut up. <laughs> um, if you're thinking about doing a triathlon, just do it. Alright, that's it. <laughs>